Welcome back to the channel everybody. Uh, today I went into Target and I saw they had in stock again some Jumpstart Booster Packs. As soon as I saw those, I knew I had to have them. So I grabbed a couple of those. There's actually only four left on the shelf. I grabbed all four. Also, grabbed a couple of these draft packs of Commander Legends. So we'll open these up and see what we can find. Hopefully get something good out of here. Let's start with the Jumpstart uh, Packs first. Those, uh, I haven't opened these up in a long time. It's really hard to find these on the shelves. I haven't seen them in forever. So like I said, as soon as I saw them, I had to grab them up. So let's open them on up and see what we can get. Hopefully we'll get uh, some of those big hits. Let's see. Packs down there. All right, pack number one. Let's see if we can get one of those spicy hits. Maybe get one of those big expensive cards. Seismic, huh? Hmm. I don't know if I ever opened this one. I don't know what the rare is in this pack. Let's check it out here. And the seismic, what do we get? We will get Grim Lava Mancer. All right. So pay a red, tap it, exile two cards from your graveyard, deals two damage to any target. Meh. Magma Quake deals X damage to each creature with flying each planeswalker. Not so great. All right. Set that one off to the side. All right. Pack number two. Let's see what we get out of this one. Hoping for something good out of here. It's always fun to get. Let's see if we can get something big. Vampires. Hmm. I think there's a good card in there, isn't there? There's like one or two good vampire cards in this. Uh, what is it? Exquisite Blood. There we go. That's probably the best hit you can get out of a vampire pack right there. Whenever an opponent loses life, you gain that much life. Awesome, awesome in a life gain deck. So, yeah. So that's a good hit there. I don't know, it's running like 20 bucks, something like, something like that. Maybe it's gone down since it got reprinted. Um, not sure, but it's a great card. Don't have a copy of it, so it's really awesome to have a copy of that now. Alright, third pack. What do we got? Legion. Oof, not a very fun one here. I think there might be like maybe a good card in here, like Cathar's Crusade or something like that. I'm not sure. Yeah, Blessed Sanctuary. Well, that's an okay card, I guess. Yeah, you got a Path to Exile in there. I guess that's pretty cool. Alright, moving along. Last pack of Jumpstart. Let's see one of those big hits. Exquisite Blood was really good. Definitely like that one a lot. Let's see if we can get like a really spicy hit. Predatory, huh? Let's see if we get another Naeth out of here. I do have a Naeth uh, deck that I built a long time ago when this first came out. That's a lot of fun to play. Hey, look at that. There's a Naeth right there. Maybe I'll do a deck deck video here pretty soon on my uh, Fight Club Naeth deck. It's actually a lot of fun to play. Uh, maybe I'll share that guys with you here sometime soon. So, uh, a couple okay pulls. I can't remember what was the other. There was a few other rares in that first pack. Grim Lava Mancer, Magma Quake. There's another rare in the Vampire one too. Sangromancer. What does that do? I'm not even sure. When a creature or an opponent you control dies, you gain three life. Whenever an opponent discards a card, you gain three life. Hmm. Okay, so a couple good cards there. Can't complain about those. Exquisite Blood is really cool. I like that one a lot. But that one, maybe make a life gain deck here sometime soon. All right, let's open up this first Commander Legends three booster draft pack. See if we can get some good hits out of here. We're really hoping. I still have not pulled a Jeweled Lotus. So let's see if I can maybe get one of those out of here. That would be nice. All right. Let's crack it, see what we get. Go through the commons real fast here. And we got first response, null caller, cast down, and rare keeper of the accord for our first rare. And then for our legendaries, we got jury, master of the review, Tormod the desecrator, and a common spectral searchlight. All right, nothing too great out of that pack there. See this in the second one. All right, here we go. Those commons. Explosion of riches for our first uncommon. Imperious, perfect. Thought vessel. Has some quality cards in here. And an apex devastator. That's a really nice hit. I do have. I pulled a, one of my other videos. I think I pulled a full our extended art foil version of this. It's really sweet. But this is a cool card. Alright, so we did get a Mythic there, that's nice. And we got a Zara Renegade Recruiter for a rare back there. And another 
foil coming. All right, last pack in this pack here. In this box. Here we go. Let's see if we can pull a Siren Storm Tamer, Faith's Fetters, Hunter's Insight, and well, the Champions. That's not bad. I still have not pulled the Blue Red Land out of here, which is kind of crazy. Um, it's like the only land I have not pulled. Uh, we got Brenlin for Uncommon, Fethis, Falthus, and Scrap Diver, and then a Path of Ancestry in the back back there. That's kind of weird. I've never seen that before. All right. And it goes in the common slot and token. All right. So we did get the Apex Devastator out of here. I guess that's kind of cool. Did you get one nice hit out of that pack? Not sure how much it's going for these days or what it's worth, but we'll see. All right. Here we go. Next one. Come on. Let's see that Jewel Lotus. Even man, another Mana Drain would be good. I mean, Pyrrhic Tutor would be awesome. Get one of those big hits out of here. That would really... Make my day. All right, here we go. Supreme Will, Orzov Advocus, Frenzied Saddle Brute, and Rare, Rejuvenating Springs. Awesome. So we got another one of the cool Battle Blind lands out of here. This time the green and blue one. Still not the blue and red one. All right. Arami of the Dead Tide, and Queen Itinerant Meddler. Rare, legendary. All right, two more packs to go here. We'll wrap this up. There we go. Okay, Vow of Wildness, Shimmer Mirror, Noxious Dragon, and another rare, Plague Reaver. Oof, not the best of hits there. All right, and then we got Anara, Wolved Familiar, in common, Radiant, Sarah Archangel, and a common. Marble Diamond Foil. Alright, last pack. We'll wrap this one up. See if we can pull out of here. Alright, so we got a Coastline Marauders, Horizon Scholar, Sifter Worm. Do we have a Mythic back here? We do have a Mythic. Craig Spearing, huh? I wonder what that is. It's a red one. 4-4 four, four creature, and it's Port Razor. Alright, Port Razor is not too bad. It's kind of a fun looking card. I haven't played with it yet, but it could be pretty cool. Kesket, the Flesh Sculptor, Ghost of Ramirez de Pietro, and can we get a good foil? It's a rare foil. Oh, Crack the Thumbless, and Etched Foil. That's pretty cool. Really fun card. This one's actually pretty nice compared to some other ones I've pulled. It's actually like not very like flaky on the edges. This one's actually in really good shape surprisingly compared to other ones that I've opened up so there you have it had a couple good pulls here got the apex devastator got the exquisite blood Quark. a couple of those lands are really nice to have port razor for uh, mythic a few of these guys so yeah oh no not a bad little opening good little run at Walmart today all these cards definitely pretty cool uh, check out my last video we're still looking to get up to the 50 subscriber mark we got 48 as of the making of this video. So I need two more subscribers to go. Go back and look at that video. Like, comment, subscribe. Get your chance to win uh, that Brago King Eternal fetched oil uh, etched foil. Um, hope you enjoyed this opening. We'll see you next time.